my God! Okay, it's happening. Everybody stay calm. What's the Everybody procedure, everyone? Calm. What's the procedure? Stay calm! Wait, 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 wait. Everybody just calm down! Help! Here. Oh. Take my hand. Ah! Come on! <laughs> You're gonna fall unless you take my hand. No, give me your other hand. Oh, my other hand isn't strong enough. You take my little hand. No! Get it away from me! Break it! Break my hand! No. I hear the train a coming. It's rolling round the bend. You speak as though I have conquered death. I live death every day. I am surrounded by it. Smothered by it. Look at you now. He would have everlasting life. You seek to defy death. You cannot even defy sleep. And how alike sleep is to death. It is a painted death. Whoop, whoop. Welcome, everybody. Hello. Good morning. Hope you're doing well. Uh, check out this daytime light. <laughs> it is very sunny out there. I uh, hope you're all doing well. Is it daytime where you guys are? Probably, maybe. Definitely where Mo is, I think. Um, how are you all going? How are you feeling? I'm feeling nervous. <laughs> Although good too, because I'm getting stuff done and uh, we're on our way. It's getting close now. How many days? 11, 10, I don't know, I've lost count. Uh, I'm feeling excited. Lots of things is happening out there in, in comic book world, but I'm sort of sheltered from it all at the moment. I'm so focused, laser focused on uh, on the task at hand, which is, uh, which is getting everything ready and uh, the website working. So, oh, and uh, the Kickstarter stuff fulfilled, which is uh, turning out to be more of a headache than I'd hoped. But um, let's say hello to some beautiful people in the chat. First and foremost, Mo. Mo says, uh, what does he say down here? He says his advantage generally amounts to Bancroft saying he can't properly recognize first that day and it's out of his hands. <laughs> well, I mean, I can. It's right here if I want to do it. If, it. if it wants to come up, there it is. See, I can. I mean, it's not technically the rules, but, uh, you know. It is what it is. Hail Mo Big, Spretsky's here, Jeremy's here, soon at GM, awesome one. Hello, Louie. Crystal McGee. A fellow Mc. I'm a I'm a I'm a stabber McGee. <laughs> Maybe we're uh long lost um relatives. Hyper Wizard in the house. I have something to show off from Jake in a second. Very cool stuff. David G's here. Who else? Yeah, when is Hyper going to join adulthood and finally cut his hair? Uh, we'll, we'll find out. Um, who else is here? Joe's here. McGregor Ball. You catnapped your way through life. I was born in a coma. <laughs> Speaking of catnaps, our cat's going crazy. We're getting very close to having to chop his balls off. We have to wait because he just got vaccinated. and uh, But, uh, man, he is acting up. Notice me, Senpai. Am I Senpai? I do notice you, Matt G's here. It's afternoon, 5.30 p.m. Yeah, so it would be light, wouldn't it? Almost midnight for Jake. You live in the wrong area, the wrong part of the world. Who fractured your mind, Bancroft? Ella fractured her own mind. That's the point of the whole book. 
Uh, laser focused indeed. I feel like I haven't come up in Aaron Weeks. Jeremy's whole channel is just blowing up right now. So I think you should be laser focused, Jeremy. Uh, you know, hone in, make hay while the sun shines. And I think we've got what two episodes of From Left. Uh, very excited, very excited indeed. Uh, Moses, I can't believe I never made the connection between Crystal and Stabber. Crystal sounds like the sister of Stabber, you know? Evolution um, is here. He says, how chat can I this live in the background? We'll chat if I really need to say something. Uh, snipping the cat's balls. That's actually funny. That actually does look like Nugget too. That is Nugget, that little emoji. He's going to have to. It's, it's getting crazy. Um, vaccinations, removal of testicles. Bancroft has joined the new world order for cats. Yeah, the cat world order. F them cats. Uh, RCU fan Ripperverse. How's Ripper going? Has any? I haven't checked on Ripper today. It's my, I, need, I, I missed my daily Ripper check. Has he broken a million yet? I think the website issues really stunted momentum, unfortunately. But the, the hell? I typed in Ripperverse and something else came up. Is he under attack? What is going on? Hyperwizard says, I believe he broke a milli. Yeah, look, I'm going to Google Ripperverse and I get something else that isn't Ripperverse. Oh, no, I do. What, was, what the hell was that? He broke a milli. Amazing. 6,000. What's that? Like six. That's 12,700. 15,000. 16,000 copies already. I was wondering if he'd make a million for the entire campaign. But it looks like he's on track to just sort of probably do close to what he did last time. That's crazy. Nugget will just become it. Yeah, <laughs> without the nugs. Exactly. First they came for the fat. Hello, Stephen. How are you going? I know. I say it's one million and the 90,000 is just, you know, whatever. Whereas everyone else, if they made 90,000, it would be the biggest thing ever. Um, I watched three episodes of From and stopped as it messed your mind. From is like watching Rob stream. Can't leave, but not sure you want to leave. No, nah, From is great. I'm really into it. How much is that in dollary dues? I'm going to guess one point... Seven nine. That's a complete guess. Let's look that up. One million. Hang on. Is it do one million? No. It's right there in front of me. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I needed the commas. One million ninety thousand four six four. Right. USD to AUD is, but, 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 oh, it's close, 16, uh, 1,600,000. There you go. Uh, check this out, everyone. Did I, see, that's where it took me. What is that? Anyway, uh, look at this. Hello. This is what I've, this is why I've kind of been absent recently, getting this done, this cover. Hello, Jonas. Hello, Jay. Uh, yeah, the 90,000 is chump change. I guess it is for Ripper. Victor is a less retarded Rob. <laughs> we got Mask Retro. We are, of course, um, simulcast on Rumble. Oh, Simply Green put the uh, YouTube link. That's clever. Bit of cross pollination. Is anyone watching on Rumble? I don't know if they are. I haven't mentioned it yet. Uh, uh, it says service unavailable. That's not what is going on with the internet today. <laughs> Things be happening. Anyway, moving on. Rumble down. Mine crashed. Yeah, it's not. Oh no, it is working. There's five watching. Okay. Cool. Excellent. Welcome, everybody. Yeah. I'm really happy with how this cover came out. 
Uh, I think it make they make a great pair. Uh, I like that it isn't the exact same color, but it is on the yellow orange band. And then the two soft covers are on the blue band, uh, which is nice. That wasn't planned. It was just a happy accident. Uh, but the campaign is, um, look at this, it's coming together. I did, as we were just making fun of Rob, I did follow his advice. And uh, I put all these in a carousel. So they scroll now. So what I have left to do is a featured tier, which will be the soft cover. And the ash can, fingers crossed. Then there'll be the everything new tier. And then there'll be the everything tier, which is, I mean, these two will be pretty similar, but I don't want to force people to buy the um, Waking Dream second print again if they haven't already. And maybe I'll put in something extra in there. I don't know. I haven't thought about that yet. But uh, I put all the original art down here. Now, these aren't exactly what's going to be there. I've sold all of these this one actually i didn't sell because i swapped it out but uh there'll be rod looper pages here there'll be my um cover art uh there'll be potential i mean if this thing that i'm doing today looks any good uh, maybe that'll be on there so um it was destiny in which you do not believe i never said i didn't believe in destiny i don't know where you're getting that up I notice things, but I don't know if I'm, um, I don't know if I'm just pattern seeking. We are pattern seeking creatures. Uh, the cover is 100% complete. Yes. There it is. And that really, I mean, this is, this is what I always wanted. It's, is that too much to ask? You know, just what I always wanted. It's a really kind of big, nice, shiny hardcover. It's not too much to ask, I don't think. But uh, yeah, very cool. Very happy with how it all looks. Uh, it just need, I just need to all make sure it all works now. There's the two soft covers. There's the two hard covers. I'll add in more puzzles. Here's interior pages. I took one of them off because I want four because it's neat. I'll probably add more as I go and change them up. Uh, stretch goals, i got to figure them out. And then that'll pretty much be it. And I think we're good to go at that point. Fingers crossed. It's a couple of dudes. A couple of dudes. When is launch date on the American calendar? So June 25 at midday which will be june 26th at 2 a.m for me so that'll be fun and mel says she's going to try and get up as well and uh, be there for the launch so that'll be interesting mel at 2 a.m mr monkey just wants the library book if you want the library book you have to sign up where is it where is it hold on under my pile of junk he's talking about this if you want this you must sign up uh, at the lucentcomic.com because it's the only way you're going to get it well you're not going to get this copy because it's got a weird line down it this is my own i guess sample copy but uh yeah i'm not selling that book it's only it's only going to be available to win sims in the house don't forget to hit that like button Thank you. If you don't believe in destiny, how do you explain me the being the only person to win the wheel competition, but being gate kept at the final spin? Uh, fate, fate and destiny—they're the same thing. Uh, there's the helmet panel. Yeah, that's there. Down there, it's in the interiors. Here it is. Hello. Are the hard covers larger? Yes. Where's a I have one around here, actually. Where is it? Hold on a sec. Pause. Pause a moment with me. I have. I have a copy of a graphic novel that is the exact size. Bear with me one moment. And I'm back. Uh, all right.
right, let me take this off. Put this on. So that's the size. Which I think is pretty substantial. God, I love that gloss. I love the gloss. Oh, look, there's an Eiffel Tower. Lady S. I grabbed these from France. Uh, so yeah, it's a it's a quite a different reading experience if you have never read Oversize. Bigger, bigger, better. You better not miss your own launch. Can you imagine if I sleep in? Is that library a version of book one or two? Book one. It's Waking Dream. It's the perfect size. I love it when they say that. <laughs> All right. So I think that's it. Oh, no, I have to show Jake's things. Um, actually, before I show Jake's things, I got this. I'm just going to leave Hyper Wizard's perfect sized comment up there. Look what I got. Here's something I never expected to ever receive in my wildest dreams. I don't know if the like there was some heat or something on the delivery, but it's sort of like you can see that fluting. Look, it's very shiny. Death Swan. I haven't uh, signed it. He's alive. I haven't read it yet. Smells a bit funky. I mean, the art's pretty rad. Art's actually very rad. Not pretty rad. It's very rad. So if you want to see a book, if you want to see what a book that took four years to complete, um, that's what it looks like. Actually, it does look like it would have taken that long. This all this, It almost looks all sort of hand-penciled or something. There's a lot. Like, this isn't a style I would ever pick for um, interiors. It's too intense. It looks amazing, obviously, but it's just something I would never be able to keep up with. It's actually, the art is amazing. The art is... Uh, he, I think he ended up redrawing this book a bunch of times, and that's why it took so long, because he just kept getting better. Um, yeah, it looks pretty amazing. Death Swan. It's, there's a book I never thought I would ever receive in my wildest dreams. Um, fluting is punk. <laughs> certainly is. Uh, Jim Cox with a bogan chat. Will Mel B be in her jammies for launch? I don't imagine Mel will stay in the jammies unless she doesn't want to come on stream. If she doesn't come on stream, like as in video then maybe she will but i'm thinking um uh yeah 12 p.m launch do that for however long i can manage because it'll be you know the middle of the night for me and then see what happens that night you know if anyone else bigger is streaming or if i'm streaming whatever you know people have said uh, they might be able to help me out which is you know amazing so um yeah that would be super cool but uh we'll see we will see well reds in the house hey bancroft how it goes uh i'm busy i'm excited uh i got some original art from hyper wizard look at this there's his uh hedgehog i got an original the quality on these uh pens is superb by the way the um how black it is and it looks so so nice so i got a little hedgehog there what do i show first now i think this is oh this was good <laughs> this is just something that he put a piece of paper over them to keep them stuck and then he drew on that paper uh and here's me this is what i do i slide up into jake's dms to sam hey look at this one's going viral that's me asking jake to check out my shorts and he's just like sure buddy cool I really care a lot. <laughs> this is very accurate too. A very accurate portrayal. So we've got the blouse. It's my favorite pair of shorts. Got the roll blades. I mean, it's only three wheels, but I understand a little bit of artistic license is, you know, permitted. Um, Jake drew 
the uh, three of us champagne stallions. There's uh, me, Rob in the middle, and Camel. I'm saying, it's okay, Rob. The good, It's good the doctors found it early. And then Camel's like, cheer up, buddy, which is actually pretty apropos because right now Rob is waylaid. I think he he's bruised ribs or something, which is funny as well because he's the rib man. <laughs> so amazing work. Now, I think this one's for Rob. Correct, Jake. I'm sending. I'm giving this one to Rob. I'm pretty sure. Very good uh, likenesses there. And then this one is for me, which is just Camel and I, you know, palling it up, having a good old gay time uh, in the in the in the Champagne Stallion original, the uh, the actual golf cart. I like to imagine that these lines are here. Because that's a rainbow, just like that rainbow. It's like the rainbow thing. It's hard to have a gay time on your own. It really is. And that's just, oh, look, he's got the, I didn't notice he's got that flag there too. Oh my God. I look like my gay time is sour there. But, uh, very good. You're a very talented, sir. I shall treasure this. Frame it up like the other sketches I have. Put that down there. Camel looks so happy. Why is Rob always injured? That is a good question. I said to him, I said, how the hell did you bruise ribs and do put your back out again? Uh, yeah, it's a gift for Rob. Excellent. He's sick again. Hmm? Hmm? Hey, I don't want to make any. It's a salty gay. <laughs> they do have salty gay ties. I've got to go get a salty gay time and taste it. Test it. I think I would actually like it. I don't mind a salty treat. Yeah, Rob would tell us about why he's always injured, but uh, the first rule is you don't talk about it. That's true. All right. Uh, we are 20 minutes in. There's been a lot of waffling. Let's do this. Sir, Chief of the Watch, on the 1MC, dive, dive. <laughs> I'm an idiot. That's my bad. I'm sorry. I pressed the wrong thing. Uh, that's what I wanted. That's what I wanted to do. I apologize. I was saying that whole time while I was talking, and you guys couldn't hear me because I kicked myself accidentally. Uh, I was saying, do you guys know that movie? Do you know what that's from? I said, I love that movie, and I don't think Mel has seen it. So we should watch it at some point because it's so good. And I was also saying I got to sharpener and I got a uh, rubber from Victoria's room. Hunt for Red October? No, it is not Hunt for Red October. I did show Hunt for Red October um, to Mel and she loved that as well, I think. Although maybe she'd seen that before. Gordon Goodbrother has it, Crimson Tide, with Gene Hackman and Denzel Washington. Ah, oh, it's so good. It is so good. Boomer Croft strikes again. So, ooh, is that in focus at all? Or you guys just probably can't see it. It's focusing a little bit. If I move it like that, it's like. So, I've had this idea for a long time, and I thought, let's do a sketch version of it. Uh, it won't look like this if I can pull it off. But essentially, what I want to try and do is I want to try and do it would be a way simplified version of this. It's just I, I wouldn't there's no way I'd be able to do it like this. But, you know, I've had this idea for a cover for Fractured Mind and Fractured Mind, in case anyone doesn't know, is a book I'm working on with Rod Looper. 
it's essentially um if you read waking dream there's damon and ella in her dream so damon is the guy who's like teaching her stuff and they're uh they're in love there's a little relationship blooming there um and uh this fractured mind is when ella met damon or Damon met Ella, whichever you want to say it. And uh, it's a little one shot. It's an action comic. It's 30, 32 pages, I think. We're about uh, a little bit over halfway done on the art. Rod is, Rod is in hot demand. You know, he can't, he's got so many books on the go. Um, you know, but. Uh, so that's what that's what uh, is happening there. And I had this idea, you know, fractured. There is actually a scene in the thing where a, a, a mirror gets broken. Believe it or not, reflections, mirrors, upside down, falling. It's all in there, if you can believe it. And yeah, so, you know, I, I like this idea of like looking at Ella's face in a broken mirror and it's all busted up. What are you guys saying? What are you guys saying? Mo was close. Subhumans. White face dick hunts the under. Oh my God. <laughs> you know I can't read that out, Mo. I'll be arrested. And I wouldn't want it. What kind of wood is that table? Fake. The fake kind. <laughs> this is this is um what's that stuff? Uh like it's not vinyl. It's some kind of material stuck on the top of a piece of MDF. It's my fake. Because uh, other than that, my my table is is a pretty you know nasty color on the stream. Uh, you have a rumble. Oh, Ark! Ark is here. I met Ark over on a Hypnotic's channel. I don't know if you guys know Hypnotic. He's a guy. I started watching him. He had about 1,500 subs. His channel is blowing up like crazy. He talks about all the similar stuff that I talk about in my shorts and sometimes on the streams. Um, seems like a really cool guy. And Ark is like, Ark is hypnotics, Mo Biggs. Mo, meet Ark. Uh, Ark is like the greeter of the channel. And we were just striking up a conversation in the... Uh, in uh, in hypnotic stream. And uh, now, now they're here. Welcome. Thank you so much. Bancroft taunting me by talking about Rod while my super bogan status has been suspended. Oh no, Mo is not a super bogan at the moment. Currently, hopefully, there's a generous patron out there um, who could facilitate that. From gray beards to bogan drawing live, hard to beat a good day if good live art. Thank you, Jackie Daytona. Yeah, well, we'll see. We'll see if this is good art. It remains to be seen. I'd, I'd never claim to be on the level that those guys are on. And they do like full on painting and stuff. But uh, yeah, so uh, the ash can, I'm, I want to put the ash can on the campaign as part of the higher level tiers. It'll be 12 pages. Um, it'll, and it'll, I want to do as kind of as best as I can a sort of a sketch cover, but I'm cognizant of, you know, how much time that could make. So I'd have to do a really super simplified version of it. But, you know, first I've got to actually get the, get the thing down, how it looks and stuff. You know, if, if I can do a really nice simplified version of it and it actually looks good, I could, that could be my very first Lucent t-shirt. Because I don't just, you know, I like, I'm a bit like Von Klaus. Like he makes really graphic stuff for t-shirts. I like that sort of stuff on a tee. I don't want, I don't want comic book art necessarily on a t-shirt unless it's, it's being designed for a t-shirt. So it's got really high contrast and, and, it, you know, it, it, it's not just comic art slapped on a t-shirt. It's made for that format. Is that a hair? Disgusting. Uh, Ark says hypnotic is definitely a good channel. I'm definitely, I'm the greeter there. Always want to make others feel welcome. You certainly do. Ark. always saying hi and how you're going very much like Mo Biggs. Mo Biggs is my golden wrench, my Uber wrench 
over here on this channel. It's been with me for uh, uh, going on three, three or four years or something now, I suppose. It's important to make everyone feel uh, welcome. Hypnotic is is more uh, abrasive than I am. He's he's like one of those guys that he likes to get out there on Twitter and yell at people. I I can't do that. I don't have that sort of mental. Actually, you know what it is? It's like emotional. Um, fortitude. I don't know. I just get like it kind of ruins my day. <laughs> but I know people like Ethan and others and uh, Hypnotic. They get they get off on it. They love it. I got, I got to stay focused on art. I got to stay focused on my book. I can't. Too many distractions and I, know, I start to feel like, what's the point? <laughs> I wonder how long Bancroft will go on about comic book and t-shirts before he yet again brings up the Tommy One and Ninja Turtles t-shirt contest. I did one. I did once win a Ninja Turtles. <laughs> uh, you know, I was chosen by Kevin Eastman to win. Me and Kev. Kev sold me. Kev sent me a bunch of goodies that he signed. Except he didn't sign the uh, the the um, omnibus. But you know, I don't hold that against him. You know, I, I, whenever he calls, I never uh, you know never bring that up. I'm big. I'm magnanimous like that. This is really. Can I zoom in a bit? It's really far away for you guys. Hold on a sec. Zoom in. Enhance. There we go. There we go. It's probably going to get blurrier, but uh, the pin did come hyper. I tried to show it off, but it was on the counter, and the counter's just covered in crap. So it's it's buried under stuff. Uh, I rather yell in the chat. I like to just uh, here's why I like to do shorts. And I know a lot of people don't like the shorts. Here's what I like about them: I get to come in, I get to make one or two points, say my piece, and then I'm done. And if you want to yell at me in the comment sections, go for it. I, I get that every day. Uh, I just, I can ignore it. I don't like, because YouTube will only show you a certain amount. So if I really, if I don't feel like dealing with people telling me how racist I am that day, I just don't go into the comment section that day. But on Twitter, it's like, it becomes this thing. Mo says, that's why I stay off Twitter. Well, you, that you don't have to get involved but people choose to. Sometimes you get dragged into it. Hello, Sumo Thori. Um, sometimes you get dragged into it, but uh, EVS would do well to focus on his art so his projects aren't three years late. I don't know if that's the reason why they're late. I mean, he could certainly, you know, put stuff out faster than no one's denying that, but I don't necessarily know if it's, you know, I get that. Like, I've seen that's like, um, you know, if because you can't just do your art, you know, 18 hours a day, if you just it doesn't work like that, you have a specific amount of time, and then the rest of the day, I mean, you can do all sorts of things, you could go do whatever. But, um, I think more than anything is adjusting to this business model of crowdfunding, and like there's so much that goes into it because essentially. What happens is you kind of become, this thing is covered in hair. <laughs> you kind of become a, you know, a manager of a company and it's amazing how much time that takes up. Actually, um, YouTube and yeah, to a, to a degree, Twitter. So it's, you know, you know, it's, it, it is a thing to a degree, Twitter, you know, plays into it, but it, as long as you're using it for kind of marketing and stuff, it, it it's time consuming. It takes it does take, it can take hours out of your day, but, you know, as long as you're still putting in your work elsewhere. That's why I haven't been as busy on the shorts lately because I had to get that, the cover done, really. And I did it in 10 days, which I did not expect to do. You know, fully painted. I mean, I didn't have to conceptualize it. It was already done in a comic book form, but. Ella is coming out of the shadows. I don't know if this is a particularly original idea, but it so fits the comic so perfectly. 
and you know it's pretty simple so i'm going with it arcs got into a few tat t t spats on twitter before guy banned one in particular was anti second amendment yeah you'll find them out there they're everywhere i live in australia i mean no one likes guns here except for me uh, am I ignoring super chats? Ask Mel. No, I've just got my head down. I apologize. Uh, let me catch up here. Uh, old man Hawk, you, of course, will have a give me everything tier. Yes, I will. I will, old man Hawk. Absolutely. And thank you for the super chat. Um, justice for Sumo. Oh, my God. The, ig the, the ignoring is getting to new new levels here sumo lady he's putting my kids to college thank you so much you absolute legend he's gifted five memberships to awesome one and mo biggs our golden wrench is once again a super bogan excellent old man hawk crystal mcgee my sister in arms the mcgee family the proud mcgee family uh jonas olsen as well fantastic amazing um, pretty simple was all Bancroft needed to hear. <laughs> it has to be something I can do. Couldn't be from your hairy Ava. <laughs> <laughs> what all the hair on my, uh, they're not that hairy. You know, I saw a thing the other day that said, if you have lots of hair on your body, mosquitoes can't bite you. And I saw a little video of a mosquito trying to climb through the hair to get to the skin, and it couldn't get there. So, um, yeah. Yeah. The old, uh, man, it, it, yeah, YouTube, it's a, it's a juggling act. That's why I... That's why I prefer doing the shorts and I keep my streams. I keep my stream short, you know, hour long. I just, it's man, it can be very time consuming. And, you know, I was thinking about this yesterday uh, after watching Ripper and everything and all his success and what he's trying to do, you know, wondering about the whole YouTube game and how it all works and everything and, I'm really happy with where I'm at in terms of what the channel is for and what it's doing. I'm 100% in the camp of I'm a comic book creator. I'm a storyteller that uses YouTube to, um, you know, get myself out there and I can do that and get help others promote their books you know, I do that three, three or so times a week. Uh, you know, share, look at when I do the arts, art share streams, share out some cool art. Maybe that'll get some exposure. Um, but yeah, there is, you know, and this isn't, I'm not throwing any shade at the guys who are like YouTube first uh, because I think they need that too. But for me, I'm very happy being, you know, creator first. And I think that distinction is, is important. Because it's all about it's all about priorities. But I also don't think you can. It's early. It's not that you can't do it one without the other. It's just incredibly difficult. Um, are the shorts bringing in new viewers? I mean, it depends on what a viewer like live viewers. Not really. Some there have been some, but I. I I, that's what I'm saying. Like, I like to do the shorts because it's just, I, I get to say something, I get to say an opinion, get it off my chest, and then I'm done and I forget about it. So it's really funny when people just comments like, This is, you're obsessed with this. And like, I forgot that this, I even, I've forgotten that I've even made shorts, you know, and I'll see a comment like, you're obsessed with this. And like, I forgot I ever made this short. Um, and, you know, because I've got other things to focus on. So I don't, I know it's probably not great for the channel, but I don't, um, I don't, 
talk as much the stuff that I talk about in the shorts on the streams. Because it's not really my primary interest. My primary interest is, you know, my comic and comic skate and what we're doing and, you know, what Rip is doing and Razor Fist and EVS and Camel and Rob and Shant and, you know, everything. Phil Diaz. Like, that's my interest. And the whole reason I'm doing the shorts is to sort of get eyeballs on that. Uh, now, are, the, are I seeing new viewers? I mean, I did a short on CG that has, I think it's sitting on 400,000 views. I mean, there's no way doing live streams or standard videos that I would be have a short about Comicsgate with 400,000 views on it. And then the, you know, eventual hope of it is that, uh, you know, eventually you sort of become someone in the space, you know, a known entity. And when you're at that stage, then it's like you can you can kind of write your own ticket. I'm a while off of that. I mean, I get crazy views. Like I think this month is on three million. The month before that was five or six. But you know, I'm just the voice behind a short that someone watched randomly. It's not like they're super uh, invested in me and what I'm doing. But I think if you do it long enough, I think that will eventually just sort of come about. Uh, and um, yeah, and then you know, I'm, you know, I'm hoping that you know eventually that will kind of translate into something, but. Uh, there's no guarantees. I don't know. It's all a big experiment. Uh, but you know, this is the first time in how long I've been doing YouTube now, four years, that I feel like I've actually re re really reaching people on a large scale. I mean, I, I literally am. I had a short go viral the other day, and now it's probably getting close to 2 million. Ray says, do you post your shorts right before you go live? I heard that's how you get people to tune in to your through shorts because your shows you are live. Oh, that's interesting. I hadn't thought about that. I I do plan to kind of restructure my live streams a little bit. I like the art stream. I like that that's a regular thing that people can turn. They know, okay, on, on Saturday, Bancroft's going to do his art share show. Um, so maybe that's what I'll do, like a once a week show where we I go through what was on the shorts. That's like that's what Hypnotic does. You know, he does short videos, not short. I mean, he does do shorts as well. He does videos and then he goes through that topic a bit more in depth on the stream. So I'm thinking I might end up doing that. But I can't really be thinking about this stuff right now. It's, I'm, I'm so focused on pain of death. But I think that's probably the way to go. Uh, and then on those streams, you know, I can bring on Edwin, Phil, Camel, Rob, uh, anyone really who needs to promote a book. And then we can just promote at the end like I normally do. So, yeah, anything that kind of gets it a bit more structured helps because, you know, I don't have that much time to think about all this stuff. You should do drunk streams like me and watch hood fights says well. <laughs> I've done the drunk stream thing. I tried it out for a while. Um, yeah. On top of getting fat, um, wasn't really for me. Um, yeah, I'm actually, I am a hundred grams away from 89 kilos. And it just, it just seems right there, but so far away. <laughs> well, Red says, I'm getting over all the drunk stream stuff too. Yeah, I think it's like everyone does it because it is a lot of fun. I tell you, it is a lot of fun. But eventually you do sign it, sort of get over it. And I just didn't want to cultivate that audience that expects it of me. Like, it's great when you're getting drunk and, you know, guy comes in and says, $50, take a shot. I mean, that's very intoxicating as a creator, as a, as a YouTuber. But. Um, I don't you, you, like you. The Ripper was talking about this the other day. Is like he can turn on a he can turn on a stream 
and have hundreds of people, potentially over a thousand people coming to listen to him just about something he wants to talk about. And I think that's, I think that's the harder way to go, but I think it's the better way to go that you, you're not kind of beholden to trends or whatever. You get to talk about what you, what you're doing and that's you know that's the kind of the garden that he's cultivated they're this they're the seeds he planted so they're the fruits that have grown and that's the way i kind of want to go as well like i don't i don't want i don't necessarily not that i don't want any of that to ever happen but i don't want my regular crowd to be like bancroft do a do a shot every you know because i stream it <laughs> i'm streaming right now at 9 18 in the morning right before work i can't be i can't be getting loose uh, not too loose anyway. D Wags in the house. He says, I'm uploading a short as we speak. There's always that moment when you upload a short where you're like, please give me the thumbnail I want. And you can plan that out of how you structure your short, but it doesn't always work. And sometimes it's very frustrating. And then sometimes you get a short, you get a thumbnail, and you're like, oh, yes. Perfect. I got that with one of the Mario ones that ends up doing like, one and a half million or something. I was like, it couldn't have been more perfect. The thumbnail. Mel is listening while driving. She should actually probably be home by now. Rob planned to do short, says Mo, but he doesn't have the attention span. <laughs> All right, let me make sure I'm not missing anything. Because it's uh, it's prone to happen. uh d wags got a thumbnail trick oh yeah dm me nice i'm very happy to see everyone welcoming arc into the chat here uh love to see it how many stones is that bancroft oh my god stones that's something my mother would uh say what is that 89 kilogram to stones. Who would measure it in stones? <laughs> it's 14 stone, if that is such a thing. Uh, D-Wag says, you know I love you all. I mean, I know certain tricks. I've seen people, I seem like, oh, how do they get that short to be at the, the the thumbnail to be taken directly from the beginning and then oh that's the only place where they have text so if you have text and that's the only place that's where you're going to get it i've noticed that you know faces is obviously that's the obvious one everyone knows that um like a big face but uh yeah speaking of faces Ella's staring out at us from behind the cracked mirror. Rod is absolutely crushing this book. I tell you what, I uh, I hope he sticks around and wants to do future books, future loosened books. He the way he draws Ella is so good. Uh, it's you know it's, I, I love that he can draw it better than I can. That's all I'll say. Which you know to be perfectly honest isn't that hard but fourteen is pretty damn good man yeah especially from where I started uh what did I start at uh, 17 so I started at 17 that was my wake up call that was like you are a fat ass stop eating so many burgers um to be back at this which is where i was before um victoria was born so that's pretty crazy I like it. I found out that drawing glass shattering, it doesn't really matter what you do. <laughs> it all looks cool. It doesn't really matter. You know, you don't have to be precise about anything. And I like that. 
that's something you see you learn something new every day i'd never drawn shattered glass before this but uh thankfully as well i've got this uh i'm signed to envato elements it's amazing for like all kinds any kind of reference you want whether it's photo video 3d models whatever and yeah they just had like you know a gazillion examples of glass being shattered for me to peep at is rob sick again says dale uh he has a bad back so rob has chronic back pain uh, if you've hung around a while you know that but it, this is the first time i think he hurt his ribs i don't know what that's about um i don't know if we'll be on camel nights tonight we might have a three uh a three-man champagne stallion crew but that's okay rob's only the uh Rob's that other brother in the Champagne Stallions, you know. Is it Morgan? I can't remember. Oh, it's a three-way tonight. It's not, not gay in a three-way. With a honey in the middle, there's some leeway. And Phil is the honey. Phil's the, Phil's the cute one. <laughs> Oh, God. I've got to try and be careful not to... Um, I've already, like... I'm not a... I don't normally pencil. You know, but I, I like the idea of potentially having some, some other original art on the campaign, if I can... And uh, you guys seem to like the last one I did. So. Rob's the heart of Camel Knights, says Well Read. Well, maybe the foot. I will be going to work in a few minutes, start my day. I wish I could just stay here and finish this piece with you, but uh, unfortunately, bills need paying and all that fun stuff. And, uh, what are we up to? Um, 11 days, I think, until this thing goes live. I'll get this finished tonight. I'll post it up. Thank you to everyone who backed me on uh, Kickstarter, by the way. I very, speaking of destiny, I very uh, serendipitously funded, I didn't think that was how I should have said that, but I f it funded for exactly three and a half thousand dollar redos, which coincidentally is the exact price of a ticket to Tampa. So. I mean, assuming everything goes through just fine, I'm figuring out how it all works over on Kickstarter at the moment. But uh, I do have a uh, a date with the devil, as it were, <laughs> in Florida. Uh, Visa is being organized as we speak, and I will be there. So if you want to meet me in July, I think it's July, end of July, I will be in Tampa for Tampa Bay Comic Con with everyone else. It's going to be a massive CG contingent there. It's going to be great. I mean, I'm not going to be tabling or anything. Um, I, uh, I'm not going to be tabling, but I'll just be hanging. I'm not flying. I'm not flying that far around the world just to sit behind a table. That ain't happening. Sell some books. But I think Rainy will be. I think Patrick will be. So. Bancroft is getting his visa. Uh, I'm going to meet Hyper Wizard. He's got, uh, his, he's got his passport application underway. 
nice and sweaty. Well, I'm used to it. You know, I'm from uh, Queensland originally, so it's tropical up there. And they don't have gators, but they have crocs. So, although I don't really like the hot, humid weather, but, you know, I'll deal with it. I will deal with it if it means I get to hang out with some awesome CGs. Have you guys noticed Commiskate is like, uh, it's it's getting a lot of publicity at the moment because the whole comics broke me stuff. Everyone's yelling over on Twitter. It's pretty funny. I should do I could do a short about this guy who was um, trying to make fun of Ethan and did one of the craziest self owns in the history of Twitter. But I don't know if I don't know if it's a short kind of thing. It's pretty funny. Crocs are OP compared to gators. Oh, saltwater crocs are, I mean, they eat gators for breakfast. They're like, they're like dinosaurs on hard mode. They're crazy. The fresh, the freshies are a bit more gentle. They're probably a bit more like gators. I mean, they'll still eat your dog, but they won't eat you. But yeah, salties are uh, massive. Do a short about that guy. I think I might. There's not really much else to talk about. I mean, there's a lot. It's sort of the same old, you know, a little mermaid sucks. Uh, the flash is tanking. You know, it's, I've already made those shorts. I should laugh at that guy. It would be pretty funny. All right. I do have to uh, go. I want to thank you all so much. This is looking decent. It's coming through. Let me zoom out a little bit. Enhance. Unenhance. Yeah. Now, the 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 sketch cover that I do won't look this detailed uh, that ain't happening so um because i've got about you know if i want to sell a bunch i have to be able to do it quick but uh, i'll figure something out um all right guys uh other than that i will see you tomorrow hang on mo says tells me to read it what am i reading bancroft made this ella comics broke me cover in honor of the hashtag <laughs> yes <laughs> exactly um where is it? Where is it? Uh, everybody, please do head over to. Where is it? Uh, all right. Release dive cam. Released. Uh, head over to the lucentcomic.com where you can sign up for Painted Death. 10 days, 16 hours. You can win that book. Uh, there'll be lots of fun stuff on the campaign. Um, other than that, I will see you tomorrow and we're having uh marrying mike baron on always always great to have mike on he's on a roll we'll be talking bronze star and uh yeah i will see you then all right guys bye individually we are weak like a single twin but as a bundle we form a mighty